angry guy here and broke girls are crying because men won't pay for their meals anymore. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Broke girls are crying because men won't pay for their meals anymore. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the first video. Day who should pay? <laughs> I know. I mean, that's what I told them. You know, I'm sorry. But I say, you da I'm dating. We're dating. You but know, here's the gentleman here. You're here okay. To pay. He's supposed he's, to pay. Yeah. That's you're what I told I, him. But you're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. No. <laughs> whenever Walt. What's wanted, where, right? where where? where but what's the, Where does this double standard come from? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the reality. You guys can, you, can, you can moan at it all you want, but the moment you say to a guy, you have to fucking pay for my time, you're saying this relationship isn't equal. This relationship isn't equal. My time is worth more than yours, so you should pay for it. I wonder what paradigm that sets up. It's amazing, guys. You know, and it's not just that paradigm. They literally say that not only is my time worth more than my than yours but so is my humanity my presence my simple presence in a relationship is enough i don't cook i don't clean i don't bring anything of actual value to the relationship except for my presence because i am the table and it's it's unbelievable a man brings his value okay all right off the bat a man has to be a provider he has to be be a protector he has to be he has to be fit. He has to have worked on himself. He has to have conversational skills. He has to have the ability to compete for women. He has to have all of these things before he can approach a woman. A woman does not have to have anything other than simply being a woman and being present. And modern day women, they don't take any of this into consideration because they are handed absolutely everything. What did a guy spend on a first date in Miami? In Miami? Like over $100, probably like 200 well, I mean, I think that's minimum the average because everything like is expensive, speak. but... Does that mean that he's going to get sex afterwards? No. No, it does not mean that. Not necessarily. It depends on the vibe for me. So, if he's spending $250 on a first date... He might get a kid. <laughs> get on a, a first kid. date? Yes. <laughs> Would you be willing to split the bill with him? No. Yes. No. No? No. Not on a first date? You're paying for my first, like, eight dates. Oh. First eight dates? That's, like, we drastic. But I would probably say like, I mean, I'd probably say like, yeah, like five or six dates. So when do you start paying for them? Like after we're officially like, not official, but like after we're like, we have like we're consistently dating and you're consistent as a, as you know, because at first you don't know if they're just seeing you or if they're just seeing other people, you know. So at what point in his spending spree does he get sex? It depends, really. Guys, you have to be a real simp. And notice what this guy, the interviewer, a lot of women are always hitting on him, attracted to him, want to hook up with him. This woman, this woman on the left, as you can see, you know, she is a woman who has a bit of additional weight on her. And she basically believes that she is not only the prize, but a man has to spend thousands of dollars on her. Because if he's spending... $250 or even $200 per date. And he has to do that every single day. As he said, as the interviewer said, you know, a, sp a spending spree. By the time she may decide to have intimacy with him, he would have already spent well over $1,000. And in the range, minimum range of around $1,500 to $2,000 on this woman who may or may not have phys become physically intimate with him because remember he is not entitled to anything from her he is not entitled to physical intimacy but she is entitled to his resources for her presence like do you guys see the reality that men absolutely live in and even her friend was shocked her friend who was i believe considerably considerably more attractive was actually shocked at her friend's response 
This is the level of insanity. You know the reason why this woman on the left has such such a such a larger head? Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because there are a lot of simps. Maybe there are may there may actually be more simps that message the girl on the left than the girl on the right. Because the simps look at the girl on the left and they think that this girl is more likely to be more receptive to them than the girl on the right. So they'll take so so this girl so the girl on the left will then end up getting getting even more attention than the girl on the right because there are some sims who will say yeah I don't even have a shot with her but I may have a shot with the girl on the left so now she gets a big head thinking that she is not only just as valuable as the girl on the right but she's also more valuable and more attractive than the girl on the right who is slimmer and fitter and looks more feminine. How insane is that? And then, of course, the girl on the right is telling her, the, telling the girl on the left that, oh, girl, you're so beautiful. You're a 10. You're a 10. All women walk around telling themselves that they are 10s. Sims tell them, tell these women that they are 10s. So they naturally begin to believe it. There's a complete disconnect between reality and, and, their, and, and, and their mental state from being online all the time. Women are living online in reality. It's insane. They're going through their through the world and their mind is in cyberspace, even though they're in reality. So they believe that what happens in on the internet and their experiences on the internet naturally translate to the real world. So if they're getting tons of attention from Sims on the internet, they believe it feels like they're being bombarded at all times in reality. It's insane, but it's true. And it puts their value, makes them think that think that their simple presence is so valuable because sims will never stop. Sims won't stop. You have a lot of sims that are joining the passport, bros, but they're not changing. They're just going over to the Philippines and spending large amounts of money and losing this money. And it's like it, it just it'll never end. These guys are these guys, they'll never change. <laughs> they will never change. There's something psychologically wrong with them. And I've 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 advocated. I've said that these individuals they they're not fit for they're not fit for that normal life. They really need to be under the supervision and control of a of a masculine man who will, you know, take, you know, provide resources for them, but they can't be out there in the streets like they, they you know they need them they need just like how in the past, you know, you know servants would have a master, you know, have a master that would oversee these these men need someone need the structure of a man a, a strong masculine man that keeps them in check because if if you don't have that they're going to just keep running wild sims are, and you know when it gets bad enough they just go overseas they flee the country so they, these these they're, they're it's like they destroy their country and then they run and flee the country and try to follow where follow strong men because that's what they do the, the weak follow the strong so the strong so the weak so the weak men are going to follow the strong men that that have paved the way and then of course the women are going to follow the men because if the men are leaving the women are going to begin following you see women more and more women following the passport kings all around the world following the passport kings everywhere it's ridiculous but this is the reality most a man should spend on a first date. I feel like if I'm going to get ready and I'm going to use all my products to come out with you, I need like a minimum of $200. A minimum. And that's like being nice. And what does a man get in return for that? My presence. What? Aren't you having his presence within you already? I hear you, but no. <laughs> no. I mean, like, I'm here oh, is to it get different? to know you. I'm here to get to know you. You invited me out. But he has to drop $200. Yeah, because minimum. That, yeah, because just you just because me out. just because you have to do your makeup. Um, because I have to. Okay, so we're gonna do the math. My moisturizer is four hundred dollars. My eye cream is three hundred dollars. My serum is like another three hundred dollars. My makeup, you know, not included. So if I have to spend, you know, that's my money. I'm spending my money on these products. I'm gonna use these products. What are you using them for, though? For myself. Okay. But I'm going to use these products and I'm going to show up because it's not like I'm going to show up in sweats. The man doesn't owe you anything if you're just getting to know each other. If you're inviting me out, you owe me a day. So think about this carefully. A girl can simply show up in a pair of jeans. This, this, this is madness, by the way. There's no reason why a woman needs all these insane pr products. You know, you look at women overseas and they are, they are fitter. They are more feminine. They're more friendly. Their skin is, is flawless. And a lot of these women use makeup. 
and they they are and they don't need to spend this kind of money. They don't have that kind of money. So something is really wrong here. And it's basically what these women are trying to do is to have you subsidize their living. And she she knew that she was off. You could see you see you see where what happened. The interviewer stood up. He stood up to her. He stood up to her. He stood up to her. Look at her like, come on, lady, this is BS. And she goes, okay, listen, I have to do this and this and this and this and this. So he has to spend this money on me to you know for me to do this. Basically, the men are subsidizing their living. That's one hundred percent what's happening. The man, she thinks, guys, it's like my. If you look at how she's dressed, by the way, she's advertising. That that's what Mayumi calls an evening delight. These are evening delights, okay? And it's like, she, really, what she should be doing is just charging up front. But they want to keep up. But it's more profitable, just like it's more profitable for women to keep these, you know, string these these sim, simps along on Twitch and then move them over to lonely fans and only or only fools or whatever. And then, and then extract consistent wealth and resources from them that way. You know, it's it's more profitable for women to use the the the, the marriage scam or the date scam to extract wealth and resources over from a man over a long period of time instead of just having him pay for it up front. That's the reality that we live in, guys. If you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Broke girls are crying because men won't pay for their meals anymore. What do you guys think regarding everything we discussed in this video today? I want to hear your thoughts, so let's talk about them in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.